Okay. Don't worry about me. All right. You need to turn. Don't worry about me. All right. You need to turn. Don't worry about me. All right. You need to turn the radio on and set the frequency to five megahertz. Let's do five megahertz. Home button, go. Dad, something's wrong. I lost the connection with the flying sphere. So it's too late. Dalbanyak flew out of range of the radio control. No, it's not. Can't we extend its range? Talk to Howard. He knows everything about antennas. All right, I'll take Coco with me. <laughs> Why? So that she can use her feminine wiles to, uh... I'm ready to go. We totally need Coco to talk fashion and use her feminine wiles. Coco, I need your help. You saw how Stormbringer works. Is it hard to use? We'll need a weapon when Dalbanyak comes back. I'll try to activate it, Emily. Just give me some time. Okay. Coco, the fashion designer, is going to bring Stormbringer back? Okay. I need help. The flying sphere is out of range of the radio control. You need bigger antennas. I'll draw a schematic for you. Bring me a piece of paper and something to write. Oh, man. Can't you, like, oh. I have to bring a paper and a pencil? <laughs> I'm having definitely, like, Nancy Drew fatigue here, where you're like, oh, man, help another person. Oh, man, help another person. Is everybody helpless in here? Dad, I need something to write with. Take a blank page from my diary. It's still in the safe. And take this pencil. Its tip is still broken. Of course it is, Dad. Thank you for the broken pencil. <laughs> oh, Dad. Dad, so helpful with your broken pencils. Every day I find more secrets in this monastery. Who would have expected a secret compartment behind the sun clocks? This place is mysterious. I can understand how the crypt door is constructed, but I'm sure that the lock is connected with the relief above the door. Whoa, what's this code? Some sort of code. It's a code. But how the heck am I going to sharpen this pencil? Emily, do you know what to do? Yes, Dad. I'll bring Dalbanyak back and we'll retrieve all your documents. This story changed you, Emily. What do you mean changed me? I'm pretty sure four hours ago I was the same Emily. There's our code that we need. Lock and load the code. Get me a pencil sharpener, please. The bells are ringing. Ding dong. Well, there's how we're going to sharpen our pencil. Fair enough. Ding dong. Too heavy to move without our rope system. Yeah, Dad, thanks for the broken pencil. Appreciate it. He's a scientist with one pencil and it's broken. I found the manual for Stormbringer. Unfortunately, it's not complete. Look for yourself. I attached it to the device. It's written in invisible ink. Invisible ink? So you'll need a special substance to reveal the text. Like water? Invisible ink? So you'll need a special substance to uh, reveal the text. Okay, so here's where it's like, you'll need. How about invisible ink? We'll invisible need. Invisible ink? So you'll need a special substance to reveal the text. Do you understand the difference, the subtle difference between you'll need and will need? That's one of my pet peeves with people is, uh, you know, you're in like this situation and they're like, you'll need it. Actually, we'll need it. We're in this together. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's all you. You'll need it. <laughs> okay, you're not helping then. All right, mister, here's your pencil and here's your paper. All right, you can make antennas from the tower bells. You'll need some parts, so here's the key to my toolbox. The schematic is ready. Take a look and pick the key. Okay. We're gonna attach the bells to the uh, antenna. That's interesting. Raise the bells and fix them in that position. Pull the mounting claps. I'll put the mounting claps on the bells. 
Connect the clamps with the long wire. Connect the radio to the radio. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, that's helpful. I mean, I know he's trapped in there, but at least that was semi-helpful. What the heck do we need Invisible to ink? So you'll need a special substance to reveal the text. Ugh. Yeah, thanks a lot, Coco. Yes, Albert broke it. Uh, where is this key supposed to go? I kind of didn't listen very well. Oh, it's supposed to be in here. Oh, I see. It's right here. Here we go. We got clamps! How exciting! We're gonna have to apply a rope there, are we? Nope. Apparently that's not where those go. Over here? Oh, that's the instructions there. Alright, well let's just cut that can open then and see what's next. Wow, that's a serious uh, drill bit there. Engineer's Paradise game. No, I am enjoying all the different nuances they've put into this game. I think it's fabulous. I'm just having too much fun and I'm making some little, you know, snide comment, but uh, in general I think this game is pretty fun. A lot of fun. Very well made. So I've got myself brass clamps and a rotating saw. Ah, here we go. And open there. I don't think I can put this here yet. No, okay. Still need to get the guy's hat here. Oh, we can cut that off there. Ah, then we can attach that to the uh, bell. Sweet, we've got a long wire for our bell. Yeah, Coco, you try not to break a sweat there, okay? Wire in a clamp. Uh, let's see here. Clamp goes here. Wire goes here. Clamp goes here. Okay, we've now tilted it up. Now we can clamp it. Now we can wire it. Oh yeah, it's working! Wrap it up! Go button! Dad, it works! Will the flying sphere return exactly to its landing zone here? Its systems aren't so precise. Go outside and see where it will land. Emily, I'm going with you. Thanks, Albert. Are you going to bring any bombs with you, just in case? Any dynamite? What's your plan? I'll go there and you'll help Coco with Stormbringer. We need a weapon. Yay! We are going to leave the dynamic duo here. We need a regent that will show the manual text written in Invisible Link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you... In that case, he's using we, but he doesn't really mean that. He means me. Thanks, dude. 28 out of 30. Can opener. Exactly what we needed. Gathering up some new stuff here. Ooh, look at the water. Slurp up some water. Ding dong. What do we got? What do we see? How do I get in? I can't see the door. Alright, well we have a can opener. Oh, open the can. Container. It's empty. Uh, can we splash some water on it? Really? This time water doesn't work? Ancient symbol. We are performing all sorts of engineering feats. Random book and a bell. How about some water in there? Yeah. 
We needed water. Now that it's filled, I don't know what the purpose of this bowl is. Looks very old and some ornament is missing. Hey, I can't open it. The flying sphere landed, but I can't see an entrance. Dalbanyak didn't come out. It's not possible to open it from the outside. You would have to use a lot of energy, like hitting it with a lightning strike. I can do that, but you need to help me read the manual written in invisible ink. Talk to my team. Invisible inks are one of the scientists' favorite pastimes. Thanks, Dad. Sort of. We need the chamomile tea, yes. Chamomile tea, please. My dad says one of you knows all about invisible inks. That's Step right. Forward. But it's the man with claustrophobia, and he needs to get out of here. Emily, you must uh, open the door. I just gave him chamomile tea. Really? I am liking the little dialogue bits. Like, they did a great job with, uh, you know, our ability to chat with people. I think it's cool. Okay, I was not paying attention. We did it! And we found the face! So that we can put that up here and save everyone. Emily, you must open the door. Did I not just open the door? How is this not open? Oh, I see. At last, fresh air. We'll keep watch for D'Albigny. If he comes, we'll call you. My dad says one of you knows all about invisible inks. Hang on. He says ammonia is the most popular reagent for invisible ink. Here you are. Take it. That's right. We need invisible ink to solve the invisible ink. Very clever. Let's ink it up. I feel like we could have figured this out by ourselves, but whatever. Place the container in the holder, open it, turn the holder, and put the radioactive material into the socket. Insert pure gold into the container and put the handle into... We're gonna have to go back to the gold mine, aren't we? We totally have to go back to the gold mine. Yeah, that's what I thought. There was a hidden object scene over here that a pile of gold nuggets? Yeah, that's what I thought. We have to find 12 golden nuggets. 11. Wait, how's that Christmas song go? Five golden rings. Four something something. Three something something. Where's the last one? Got it. Eight French hens? Yeah. I don't think this developer has a bonus chapter, so no. Alright, we got gold. Three French hands, there you go. Okay, hit the button. Boom! Let there be lightning. you as you wish but I recommend that you surrender you can't fly away I could take you as a hostage again didn't you consider that luckily I don't have to the radio control system your father invented is really impressive did you know it's a two-way system Hive just used it to activate the monastery auto destruct system the monastery will blow up and I'll fly away now get lost and don't go back Wait, get lost, but don't go back? Dude, uh, I, I, that's kind of, I can't do both, bud. All right, where's our collectible? Shoot you. Wow, I really like that this guy's got the wicked gun here. Shoot you. Don't come close or I will shoot you. Where's the last collectible? I'll shoot you. Alrighty then. Peter Piper in the pear tree. Yes, that's right. Okay, well, uh, we have a sitch here, uh, folks. We. All of us. So anyone Can you see the red lights? The monastery's auto-destruct